They're all clustered up here, that's... There we go, nicely done, look at that, how they spread out. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Cakes and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, we're playing 7 Days to Die modded and we're back with Valmod. Um, these guys are all pre-recorded but still leave in the comments anything you notice like you did last time because we can always go back to places, you know, and uh, check it out. Now in the last episode we built all this, if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. We have done a mixed bag of things actually, we also got our two merchants now going, which refresh um, on day 25 again. We're gonna build a couple of more merchants and we're gonna have a little merchant room that would be really awesome because each of those merchant delivery boxes has different items they have their own loot stack now we still don't know if an auger is part of that but we're gonna figure that out by crafting more of those anyway um today we're gonna be working on the base we want to get this balcony area done so and obviously for the next horde night we want to make sure that zombies can't get into here so we're going to have to dig down make everything a little bit deeper so they can't get in and we also want to upgrade all of these guys uh, to concrete i'm not sure about the design in the middle so i'm gonna leave that as is for the moment but we definitely want to continue Continue the pillars on either side but we're gonna have to make a uh, rebar pillars and go from there because we can make a lot of concrete right now we might have to go for a little grind session in between but either way i hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started now while i was digging for sand i completely forgot to go back and get more <laughs> so we crafted some sand here but it's all good there we go 830 more to come and that is all our uh, cement gone for now so let's put all this away we're getting a lot of resources just from digging around and um, we also have to start doing corn because we can make corn seed if we can make corn seed we can or corn we can make corn uh, meal and then we can make a uh, grain alcohol which is really really good because it helps us um mining and all that jazz which we're gonna have to do a lot of so um let's see what we're gonna do we need rebar frames can we make rebar in here and also, will it level up our... Oh, nice. They do the 100 pillars. I love it. Okay, so... Ooh, why only 10? What are we missing? Clay. Okay, so do we have more clay in here? We don't. Okay, so what we definitely need to do then is get a lot more clay. Okay, we have that here. Very good. So in the moment, these guys are absolutely fantastic for stone. So what we might actually do is... Um, yeah, just stack them on top of each other. There you go and um then put some clay in here there we go nice and some clay in here now once this is all done uh, we're gonna come back here we're gonna go on a little grinding session and oh actually we're gonna dig out everything first because we can do that in the meantime there we go so we don't really need any um coffee or any grain alcohol um any grain alcohol for digging here with the pickaxe but when we use the shovel we actually use a steel shovel now and we found it so we don't actually we can't make steel tools yet and to make steel tools we need to get our blacksmithing up uh, quite a few levels so actually let me try and see how many levels or how much experience we get for blacksmithing on this so if we go here uh, blacksmithing there we go empty it's empty right now good so let's do favorite that stuff favorite that stuff and let's go to favorites and let's craft let's craft 30 there was one it's only going up a little bit oh man what else could we do with the blacksmith thing tool heads that's probably a lot more. If we do tool heads, I think that is what will give us the experience. That would probably be good. So let's continue with that and let's just wait uh, this out. So this is what I'm gonna do basically. I craft these things and I wait because that's what gives us the experience. And then hopefully every now and then we're gonna gain a level because I don't really wanna spend points on blacksmithing. It would be a shame because I rather spend the points on a like quality Joe, which needs 20 odd points or 32 points for quality Joe for the last level. The same for minus 69. I rather spend my points on that if I can help it. So let's go, look at this. This was 20 now and we're about half a level. So 25, I would say is half a level. So if we're gonna go to 25, which means, theoretically, let me see now. Yeah, it's way more than half a level. So, which means 50 is one level, definitely one level. Which means 100 is two levels. 
That is interesting. So we could actually just AFK craft tons of those um, at some point. And um, yeah, AFK craft these and then we're just gonna gain like 10 levels or something like that. So we could get very close to where we need to go. Anyway, I'd just rather find an alternative food. If you know of any recipes that give us loads of XP that I can queue up, that would be amazing. Or oh, actually even better that I can do in my inventory. That would be really, really cool. Um, okay, so let's go outside. Let's just dig through here. Then we're gonna go outside. And we're gonna fix up the pillars, and um, we're gonna have to actually go too deep because we're gonna have a ground floor as well. So I want to have three high, and then here we have the ground floor. I'm telling you, we so need an auger. Let me queue up another merchant box. What do we need to craft the merchant box? Actually, I keep forgetting. Because if we can make another one or two of those, that would be so helpful. Because it takes 16 minutes to craft. And merchant. There we go. Merchant delivery box. It's just wood and iron. That's all it is. Okay, we're going to have to queue up a couple of them, guys. We're actually out of wood. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to get some wood. With the legendary one here, we should be okay. It should get really, really quick. It should go really We have 13 wood. Over 250, guys. So we're just going to go into... You know where we're going to go? We're going to go back to where we planted all the trees in our original starting area. Then we're going to mow through all those trees really, really quickly. That should be at least 3,000 wood. And then we're just going to replant them all because there's only a few of them. They're all in a block. You can see them already from here. I don't know if they grow while I'm not in the area or if that's as big as they grow. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So let's park the bike. There we go. And let's check it out. I don't think they're going to grow any fatter than that. Well, do you know what? Let's see how much wood we're going to get. 36 seeds, 18 trees. We replanted all of these, all the seeds. We planted all the trees. Look at this. We went all the way around. We planted all of the trees and 18 trees gave us 5,181 uh, wood, like minus 13. So, because that's all we already had on us, but that is amazing. So we got loads and loads and loads of wood now, which is fantastic. So we don't have to worry about anything. So let's go back to the base. We're gonna have to pick up some, um, let me see, do I have some weight stone? Excellent, we can repair that, beautiful. So we're going to, let me see, fixer. Yeah, let's actually do that. Um, I want to do that because it means that the durability loss is a lot less when we repair things, which is really, really good. And it keeps our higher tools uh, a lot better in check. So let's go back. Let's get some resources on the way home because there was like a cluster of rocks here where we can get some um, nice iron for here. Look at this there. The, the clusters like that. Absolutely fantastic. And we should be getting fast enough through them now and should get a good amount of resources. There we go. Nice. Well, the stone is very... Um, it still takes a while. We're gonna need a steel pickaxe or something. Like, the stone is still too many shots to make it worth actually doing any of these designs. So... Okay, I think we have a roaming horde coming in. Let me see. Ah, it's only a few. Ah, okay, here we are. All right, all right, all right. I think we're gonna have to... Say hi. There we go. Luckily, they're all individuals like that, which means they're easily um, taken care of. And we loot them on the go. This is awesome. I like looting on the go. It's one of my favorite things. Oh. Okay, they're all clustered up here. That's... There we go. Nicely done. Look at that, how they're spread out. Okay, and now it's trading with loot. We got a treasure chest, which is really handy. Sorry there. Can you take your hand out of his ass? Because it would be great, because then I can actually loot them. Okay, otherwise they're nicely spread out. I like it. Okay, this was the first two. Here we go. Yeah, let's get the lady. I don't know what we just picked up. That looked like transparent was a green bar. What do, what do we have? Nice. One note only. Seriously? One note? I expect like 10 and 20. Okay, may maybe not that much, but at least 10 or 20. Okay. Ah, man, we have to clean all this up now, don't we? Yes, we do. We are the, the visceral cleanup. That's what we are. 
All right, so because we have, um, we can't really dig through stone really fast yet, we, we need the auger. We're gonna need these merchant boxes, and hopefully between the eight merchant boxes that I just queued up, we're gonna get an auger. That would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's go back down here. Oh. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna ignore where I have to dig uh, for stone, which is basically here. Let me see. Excellent. And we're just going to dig around it. Okay. And there we go. We're going to go all the way around here. And then I think we're going to reach stone here as well. But if at least we can get two down, it means that the zombies are not going to be walking into our front door or our back door, the balcony, intended balcony. And then we're going to we're gonna have to wait until we have an auger because otherwise this is just going to take an enormous amount of time. And an auger is just much better. All right, we're gonna need to have some grain alcohol because that steel shovel is just absolutely killing me. Look at that, even the grain alcohol can barely keep up. That is insane. Yeah, we're gonna have to let it go up first. So luckily, up until the very last bit of energy, it's still one shots dirt, which means we don't even need a full energy bar. We just need it to go down slowly enough that it's worth it um, and, well, we don't have to take a break. Uh, we have to take a break, only a very little one. Oh man, so anyway, so while we're digging here, because I'm gonna have to, I can't cut all of that out, because there's a lot to, to do right now. Um, let's talk Black Ops. I don't know if you actually have seen some of it yet, um, either on YouTube or on stream, but we're going to stream a little bit. Now, I have never played the Black Ops series before. I played 3 a little bit, the deathmatch stuff, just to get into the swing of things in preparation for Black Ops 4, but... What I really like is the zombie maps, and I never had the chance to really get into them. And the way I understand it is that it's it's actually quite technical, and it's really, really awesome. You have, like, unlimited rounds. I think there's, like, an indefinite amount of rounds of hordes, and they will come over and over as long as you keep killing them and spawn them, yeah? And until you finish the actual story, so there is an end to it, because I didn't really know that. So you have to basically walk around in one of the maps, like the arena map, which I really want to play first, because it is the recommended first one. It's called Nine. And you run around, open all the doors, uh, kill all the zombies, but um, in the process then you go and unlock these rooms that have these special champions that you have to beat inside and then I suppose in the end you're gonna get a big massive boss and um, that is definitely something that you can play solo you can play it with bots which is really awesome and from what I saw in other people's videos the bots are absolutely fantastic or you can play it by yourself because the enemies or the champions in the levels scale with the actual player level as far as I know. So if you have four people there, the, the bosses and all that are gonna be much stronger than if you only have like yourself in it. So I might actually try them solo and put them on YouTube and see how it goes because it's really something that is a lot of fun. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because um, not everybody can always make the streams and we had an absolute blast streaming it the other day. We met up with a couple of people, the usual suspects, and Sul Jin actually uh, teamed up with us as well. Um, it, it, that was a lot of fun. So we had like a lot of BR action going on and uh, luckily we're all as bad as each other. <laughs> And we're gonna practice, we're gonna get better, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Ah, the screamer lady. The good old fashioned screamer lady. Hello. Whoa, miss, miss. There you go. Oh, nice, she was packing. Love it. Okay, what did you summon? Did you summon a copper or something? That would be actually really awesome because we probably, probably could get some good loot from the glowing guys or anything. Fill the drenches with the body of the zombies. There we go. I don't know if she actually got a scream off. Did she get a scream off to someone more? She didn't. Interesting. Hey, guys. Oh, he fell into the hole. He's like, oh, dude, what the hell? Maybe I'll leave you down there. You oh, nice. Yes, baby. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of something here. This is just nonsense. There we go. Look at that. And we also have to get a recipe here for the moldy bread. And Whoa, whoa, you're down there. Oh, wow, there's another Screamer. This just keeps on getting better. There we go. What did you summon? Was that a dog? Did I just see a dog? There we go. Ooh, they're lovely pants. Oh, come on, Agar, don't be like that. We both said some things we are not proud of. Ah, don't be such a growly growl. Look at you. You're half the size of your growl, okay? That's not fitting. The growl is not fitting. You look more like a... And not like a... 
No, no, no. Definitely not fitting. Nope. I have to disagree with your growl. <laughs> Just imagine the zombie growling. You say, sorry, I have to disagree with your growl. It does not suit you. <laughs> Alright, can we continue building now? Because I really, really, really want to get this done. Okay, we're gonna have to dump everything into a chest here. Like, this is just nonsense now. Okay, so... Oh, hello. Don't be ashamed. He's standing in the corner. I don't belong here. I'm sorry. I'm ashamed of myself. That's okay. Everybody's allowed to be ashamed of themselves once in a while. So, let's see what we have left to do. Okay, these guys here. And I think this will be high enough then. So, if we just kind of dig out a little bit in front of it... Um... It will be high enough here. Yeah? In the moment, we can walk up. But of course, you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, you would be able to walk to about here. Yeah, we Actually, we shouldn't have taken that off. Can we make stone? Ugh, we can't. Um, okay, for now, let's make it grassy ground. But we're probably going to dig all this up in between like, and make it um, something better that fits these pillars better as well. I think that that is needed. And um, these pillars then... There we go. Come on. Like that. And then we're probably gonna have the balcony go out all the way in front, like so. I think that makes sense. Yeah. So let's make sure that underneath everything is dug up at least to the extent uh, that the zombies can't get in. All right, we still have so much work to do. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any uh, all of that off camera. Like, I can't. It's just impossible. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting here for three hours. So I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, just maybe two, three rows just to get across. The depth should be enough and that the zombies can't jump from here over to the other side. So let me just do that. Oh, it's still not collapsing. It should be collapsing soon. It should be collapsing soon. We're undetected. It's the middle of the night. 60 minutes. Building this with 60 minute days is insane. Now, what we might do, I mean, I know I pre-record, but what I might actually do is because every week the pre-recording alternates, as in, because there's seven days in the week, yeah? I, um, oh, I'm full. That's not good. So I'm gonna have to uh, scrap that and read that. So I have basically four seven days to die videos modded, and then I have uh, three seven dice, days diced videos um, vanilla. And the next week it's the opposite way around, you know. So they always take turns. So one is four four days a week, and the other one is three days a week. And why? Why am I not picking them up? That's just such a silly, silly design. If they follow me, then I should be able to pick them up. What am I actually picking up? Oh, dirt! That's what it is. Okay, I was wondering. I thought it was like clay or something. So, yeah, that's not clay. I have clay already. Anyway, I was being a derp there a second ago. So, and because of that, what I can do, I can pre-record, say, in this case, the um, Valmod on Saturday. And then on Saturday uh, evening, before we actually do the big stream, I can stream a little bit of a grind on the other series. And um, that should then allow me then on Sunday to pre-record the episodes after the grind, which actually would be really good. And then we can increase the days, uh, the day count hours from 60 minutes to like 180 or whatever the maximum is. And that way we have loads of time to grind. I can spend some time with you guys on stream and, um, you know, then I can make the episodes uh, better, you know, like and have more materials because then we can actually can do more building on the episodes. I think that would work out well. We're gonna have to try that. We'll see. Oh, scary poopy. This has to collapse now anytime soon. There we go. There we go. There it is. I knew it was only a matter of time. It's actually collapsed quite a lot, which is great. Okay. Excellent. So that will get the, the gist across. This is how far we are now. This here. Let's just, this will keep going down and down and down and down and down. We might as well just do the next one here. There we go. Excellent. And we have loads of concrete. Mix. There we go. I think we can reach it here. There we go. Nice. Ah, 
Damn it. <laughs> I, I was hoping I'm gonna get past it. There we go. Ooh. Oh, we could have upgraded it. Come on, do a flying upgrade. There we go. Nice. Aha. Okay, and then this will be our balcony area where, um, yeah, we might as well upgrade it. But we might not make it wood. We might make it actually concrete as well because it's just going to be much stronger. Especially when it's uh, reinforced concrete. But we'll see. So let's just finish extending the legs here. There we go. And go one down. And there we go. And then the balconies inside are gonna be really weird as well because we're gonna have multiple levels. We're gonna have multiple levels. Um... Why cobblestone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I need some cobblestone. So, yeah, they're not going to be burnt all. So, we're going to take a handful out and we're going to bring them downstairs uh, from downstairs and bring them up. So, we're upgrading the flagstone all to reinforce concrete as well. Oh. Which is a little bit different because we're going to go from flagstone to concrete. That's why I don't like building this flagstone that much because the upgrade path is so expensive. Anyway, one more to go. So, but yeah, I think that would be nice because we're getting to a point now in the in the series this is both where we have to go a little bit for a grind and it's just going to become too much of a time sink for me to do it off camera, if you know what I mean. There we go. Nice. Love it. So this is starting to look really, really nice. Oh, man. I can't wait for this to be finished. This is insane. So, yeah, the ones here in the middle, I'm probably going to bust them because... Um, let's see. Can we destroy them? Yeah, we can reach them. Excellent. And we just... I thought it was a good idea at the time, but I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. It's, it's just not... It just doesn't look as good as I thought it would. Especially now when the area becomes bigger and you're looking at it from a greater distance. It's just not right. Okay, so I'm going to take these guys apart. I'm going to go down, get some uh, cobblestone. And uh, then we're going to upgrade all the flagstone here into cobblestone. Then to concrete and then to reinforce concrete. And um, then we finally rid off all this. We have two mailboxes already. Already ready? Okay, let's make a little bit more room. Because this is where they're going to go. So this is room for one. There we go. That's where the second one is going to go. Let's make a little bit of room. Oh, this is exciting. Hopefully the auger is on the list. I actually don't know. They could have a separate loot list and the auger just is not part of it. End of story. Okay. Make a little bit of headroom. There we go. Okay, so let's put this one here. What do we have? Loki's lamb meat. Oh, wow. We have forged steel. An insulator. I don't know if we need a bucket. Okay, that's good. This is actually not bad. Oh, man. Let's see what's in the next one. Because we had shotguns in one of them, so tools should be a thing. Okay, we got some boiled meat. We got more Loki's meat, snowberry, barbed wire club. And I don't see any recipes in these either, so, hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Did that chicken coop? I don't think this is going to work <laughs> in indoors. We're probably going to have to destroy it. But, um, yeah, I wonder, can you pick them up and place them again with a... And then will there be different loot? Because then you just pick them all up and place them down again, I suppose. I don't know. Is that something you can do? We should try it. Do I, do I have my land claim block here? I have. So let's see if we can... Um, No, you can't. can't. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Oh, look at that. Actually, there's a tool tile set here. Oh, day 25 refreshed. 
Oh, nice. I completely forgot that day 25 is the refresh. Oh, we got shotgun shells, son of shotgun. Oh, nice. And, oh, these guys here already are on the refreshed one. Ah, balls. That's terrible. But, yeah. Oh, man. I completely uh, missed, missed, that, missed, that, uh, missed out on that. I just noticed only what time it is, so I think we're gonna leave the episode here because again, loads of grinding. Um, I hope I can get a little bit better prepared. In the next episode, I think what we're gonna focus on is um, electric fences and we're gonna build them around the area. Now we need power for that, we need a generator for that, which I think, I think we can make. I mean, we have a battery generator here, so worst case scenario, we're gonna do a couple of relays um, to extend the cables and then uh, just use the the power generator like you know the the battery one because we're gonna have to probably next episode go through a lot of cars to get batteries to get engines and hopefully let's see actually what our minus 69 so this is only five away oh man and then we can spend 25 points we're nearly there we're nearly there this is awesome and also um what did i want to check blacksmithing and that's not the perks. There we go, blacksmithing. We're at 40 now. We need only 40 more points. I might end up spending them because it's just atrocious. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next episode, electric fences, possibly. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming. Okay, we finished the front. Let me show you what our front looks like now. There we go. We still have to make some wood frames. Very nicely done. And I think we can jump down here without breaking our legs. Nice. Look at this. Unbelievably fantastic. We're going to put a little bit of a balcony on it. And we're absolutely good to go. This is really, really nice. There we go. I will break my leg if I jump down from the top. <laughs> There we go, nice little door. And we also have another two mailboxes, maybe three. Oh, nice, and there's another one outside, which is gonna be ready as well. So we have these three mailboxes here. Let's see what is in them. I might actually just go opposite side right now. There we go. Ah, oh, the other one is not the right way around. There we go. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Ooh, nice. Gun parts. That is good. And two pages of stuff as well. So more of that Loki food, more of the soup, more of gunpowder and bullets. So gunpowder and bullets and food is always there. So I think it must be programmed. There's some clothes as well. It must be programmed that that's all there is. <gasps> oh, a silencer. That is nice. Oh, there's some nice steel as well. That is really, really good. I love it. I love it. We just don't have the money right now. But yeah, so we have another two coming up. We're going to put them here in the back. And that's it then, I think, with them. No, actually, we have one more coming up here and one more coming up. And then two more from the other shelf. Yes. So we have three more coming up, which means one here and then two more in the back. Anyway, I'm really happy with, with how this worked out. So yeah, I can't wait where this goes with the electric fences.